And welcome back to the second part of iMacro Flash Screenshots. This time I'm going to show you how I run the back end and how I tell the script uh, how to get the game and and how it knows where it is and go from there. Now this is in the PHP language but it's not too complicated so it should be easy to understand. If you don't know PHP feel free to ask. I can always give you directions to where you can learn this but you don't have to use PHP to do what I'm doing. I'm just showing you how I use it to do what I'm doing. Alright. First off, one thing you need to know when you're taking screenshots or anything in IE is you need to make sure that it expires the page. Otherwise, it's not really going to listen to the script. It's just going to do the same thing over again and over again and over again, which is annoying. But the script's pretty simple. I tell it that there's no chaos, it expires yesterday, so to speak, and so it doesn't give me any more problems from then. And then what I'm doing is I'm asking it to grab this thumb text file, which has the current number that it's on right now, because what I'm doing is scanning the directory of games, keeping track of uh, what number it is through the scan, and then when I reach my number, my current number here, it automatically takes that link and refreshes the page to go straight to the file. So when I go to IE, it's opening just the SWF file, that and that alone, which makes this a lot easier. And again, when the iMacro reaches the point that it needs another game, what ends up happening is it just contacts the script again. And the script will automatically update every time. So right here, after it gets ready to post, because it's putting in a variable, gets ready to post this refresh, which will redirect it to um, the SWF file. So what I do is once I reach that, I go ahead and I change my thumb text to read next one up. So next time it's run, it'll say 34 instead of 33. And it keeps going. I do have a cap limit right here, so when it reaches this number, it just straight up does nothing. So I'll just end up getting the same blank screenshot as the same file name, which is not a problem, because eventually I'll get back to it and be like, oh, it's done. So right here, I'm just updating the file with the current number. Um, here, I'm telling it to go ahead and edit, echo the, you know, print out the redirection. And here I tell it, if you reach your limit, just stop where you are. Don't do anything which I might want to change to actually output the game after that, which is kind of a little fail on my logic there. And that's pretty much the thumb script right there. Here I have the games folder. Again, all these SWFs are just in MD5 format, so anytime I import them, it automatically MD5s them and makes sure that there's you know nothing with already the same name and it's a really easy way to import stuff. Now one thing I noticed, I do have an index file in here but it, and a thumbs folder, but it shouldn't be a problem because I'm kind of already ahead. And if I find out that I'm missing a thumb, I can always have a script check that too. So I like bot so much. One thing I do want to point out is when you're running your loop through your directory, make sure that you tell it that you don't want dot and you don't want double dot. because dot will say stay in the same directory, double dot will say go back one, and you don't want neither of those two with what you're doing. You just want to say, as long as it's not that, continue. But uh, other than that, that's pretty much the gist of it. I mean, you can write this with any language. Um, all I'm really doing is telling this iMacro to go to my URL, wait a while, take a screenshot, repeat the process. So essentially, you can do this any way you want, and you don't have to take screenshots of SWFs, you can take screenshots of whatever. You could have a script that's listing out links to websites or something. And you could have all this on the back end and have a website that, you know, gets those links. I mean, it's, it's really quite simple. And uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment, send me a message, and I'll see what I can do. Until then, have a good one.